Hi, it's Nikki here and welcome to another studio vlog. So there's no clips of me talking to the camera in this vlog, so you're gonna have to listen listen to voiceover Nikki telling you about what was happening. So this studio vlog is for March. Well, it's mostly March. The footage that you're actually watching right now is the back end of February. So it's a March vlog. This is a painting I did for my brother's girlfriend for her birthday. It was really fun to paint and I really enjoyed it actually. It was, it's one of my favourite things I've ever painted. So March was a really, really weird month. After all of the complaining that I did about my Instagram and social media and stuff not getting any engagement, I had a sketchbook tour, real go. Not I don't want to say it went viral, but it definitely got picked up by the algorithm on Instagram and it got an absolute shit ton of views and I went from like 1500 followers to now 20,000 followers in like the space of a month and it was freaking terrifying. So this vlog is basically me painting and also just packing orders because my shop went a little bit crazy, like manageable crazy, not quit my job crazy, but a little bit crazy. So yeah, March was amazing actually it was really weird and quite terrifying but it was amazing all the same and so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go away now but i'm sure i'll be back in a bit so have fun watching me paint this So this is a huge order that I got from some lovely person called Evan and it's the first big order I've had like this I think. I don't think I've had one this large and I was so happy, I still am so happy, so grateful, literally every order that I've been getting. I've been doing a happy dance and packing it with all of the care and love in the world but yeah I just wanted to give give you a shout out Evan because this order made me feel very very happy very happy indeed so yeah thank you I'd like to just give another shout out. Um, <laughs> this is the video with all the shout outs. Um, <laughs> I'd like to give another shout out to someone who commented on my sketchbook tour video. Um, their username is Inukashi. Probably not saying that right. Um, but they 
suggested that I draw a newt and I have been calling this drop painting that I made geckos all week and completely forgot they are in fact newts um, so I'd like to thank you Inukashi for suggesting it because it was really fun to draw these and these are red spotted newts if you're if you're interested they're freaking adorable I'm also working on two paintings at once in this little snippet because I couldn't be bothered waiting for the paint to dry in one sketchbook so I started working in two sketchbooks the sketchbook that I drew the newts in I'm really not feeling at the minute because it's really thick textured watercolour paper and we all know that I like a smooth paper so I'm getting a bit fed up with it Actually, while we're on the subject of shout outs, I want to thank everyone that left me new sketchbook recommendations on my sketchbook tour video. I think I'm gonna go for the Strathmore mixed media sketchbook because I found somewhere that I can get it. I think it's Jackson's Art that you can get them from and I'm going on holiday to Edinburgh in July so I'm gonna take it there too. So yeah, I'm gonna buy one of those I think and I think I'm just gonna sack off this watercolour sketch. It's a handmade one so it's not like I bought it, just not the paper texture that I like.
One thing that I have noticed while I've been packing like quite a lot of orders, I think I just didn't notice before because I didn't pack orders as much and the orders weren't as big, is that I use way too many of these little compostable plastic sleeves and even though they're compostable I'm a little bit like oh I don't really feel comfortable using these and also I wasn't sure whether I should use one compostable sleeve for each print or if I should just put all of the prints and all of the stickers in one compostable bag so yeah I'm planning on doing a shop update in May and this is definitely something that I'm gonna look at because even though they are compostable I'm still not fully comfortable with using them so I've been looking into glassine bags recently and I'm thinking I might just use those but the ones I've ordered I'm gonna see if I can print on so I might replace the printed tissue paper that I use with the glassine bags if I can print on them and sort of kill two birds with one stone and just take the plastic bags out of the equation completely um if you have any thoughts or opinions on this or what you like to see as a customer or what you do as a art shop owner please let me know in the comments because i am super interested to see and hear about what people like and what other people do and what people think is an acceptable amount of plastic even if it is air quotes compostable or biodegradable
So this painting is another birthday card. This one's for my auntie. Um, I feel like I feel like all of the art that I make recently is for cards of some description because that's the only art that I like get time to make at the minute. It's nice though. It's nice to know that the art that I'm making is is going to going to a good home, so to speak. But I have been trying to find time to do this shop update and make new art for the shop update for absolutely forever and it just feels like things keep getting in the way. Don't mind my phone in these uh, in these clips by the way. I've just I've, I'm trying to record everything for reels for the overlord that it is that is Instagram so <laughs> I'm trying to record stuff for vlogs as well as recording things for Instagram at the same time and sometimes my phone just gets in the way. <laughs> so sorry about that. But yeah, like I was saying, it just feels like I don't really get a lot of time to make art in the minute because my job's so hectic and there's always stuff to do at home and Colin's on the campaign trail now because the election's coming up so it just seems like there's never time. So it's nice that the art that I do make is for something meaningful like because I'm making it for other people so it is nice but hopefully at some point in the future I have a bit more time to create I've definitely got I've got some holiday coming up soon from work so I'm definitely gonna spend that making stuff making art and hopefully I'll record it so you guys can see it as well So we're at the end of the vlog now. Just want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been a bit of a different one, so let me know if you prefer this type of vlog or if you'd rather see my face. Uh, it's totally fine if you don't want to see it. But yeah, thank you so much to everyone who ordered from my shop this month or engaged with my content on my Instagram. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram. The link is below and the link to my Etsy shop is below if you fancy having a little look. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Hope you're keeping safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!